This is Love Pleon. I'm here with Paul and his wife Anne for the final week of this year's Sailing with Serenity. At the end of this week, Anne's going home and we're going to put Serenity away at Kilada at the boatyard. But for now, we're going to head into town and explore Nav Prion. Returning to the boat, it was soon time to cast off and head out of port. Motoring out of Navpleon, we headed south down the Argolic Gulf. Auto helm working fine? No, it's not. Paul says that the auto helm is pulling to the port. First day out, we've left Nav Pleon. We left it a couple of hours ago. And we're on our way down to Placa. Unfortunately, it's turned a little grey today and there's not much wind with us. So we're, we're potting down under sail now after motoring for a couple of hours. Uh, but we're only doing three to three and a half knots. Anne's taken the helm, she's doing a great job there and we've set Paul on there uh, scrubbing the deck. We're under motor again now and finally heading into Placa where we're going to spend the night. This is Placa. We got here last evening. Uh, good sail yesterday and very easy mooring. It was uh, very calm when we got in here last night and still is at the moment. Nice sunny day today and uh, hopefully we're going to have a good sail down to Gerakas when the wind gets up uh, later in the morning. We've got the mo boat moored up. There's uh, very few here. And we're just filling with water at the moment. Paul's arranging that. Had a nice meal last night over at uh, the Taverna. Didn't go to the usual one, which is the one up the steps there. Went along to the one with the blue chairs just there. Um, the, the usual one hasn't been open at all this year as far as we can tell. Anne's just popping in for a swim and I'm going to join her in a moment. Getting underway again, all nice and calm and gentle this morning. Anne's taking in the anchor and Paul's stowing the ropes and the fenders. The trip to Gerakas is about 25 miles. That's going to take us most of the day and we're going to try and have a stop for lunch on the way. lunchtime stop on the way down to Gerakas. It's about a mile south of Kiparissi. Very nice 
very open to the south here, isn't it? So uh, you wouldn't want to be here tomorrow, I don't think, with a southerly wind coming in. So we've been out for a swim, got some underwater shots, had a little walk on the beach, back to the boat, had lunch, and we're about to set off again down to Geracas. Uh, we're now about three miles from Geracas. We're still motoring, very little wind but we've got a, a lumpy sea for some reason. It has calmed down a little bit. It was very bouncy at one point. Uh, but we're now passing the monastery, which is about three miles from Garakas. So we should be in the next 40 minutes, which is a uh, good time. It'll be about five o'clock, sundowner time. You may notice that Serenity has moved position. Not long after we moored up, the wind got up to such an extent that it was safer to move the boat to a side two position on the end of the quay. The blue motor cruiser next to us also made a hasty departure during the night. Time for a little walkabout of Geracas. How are we going to get up here then, Skipper? <laughs> Blowing a bit. But it only goes quiet. Yes. I think the idea is uh, wait for a, a lull in the wind and spin yeah. us off somehow. Yeah. Yes. Spin up round the top. So, it was back to sea and heading north with a strong southerly wind behind us. We're heading for Hydra, which is nearly 40 miles away. The swell on the sea is building all the time. This is going to be a long day. We were sailing with the Genoa only, but still making good speed of around 6 knots. The sea was very rocky and rolly, and with taking turns on the helm to share the load, we made good progress. 
Eventually we rounded the southwest end of Hydra and into the calmer waters in the lee of the island. It was then a motor up to the town. We're just coming into the entrance to Hydra now. Um, we're gonna have a look inside and just see how busy it is. So we've decided to leave and go down to Mandraki. Mandraki is an anchorage about half a mile further along the coast. At Mandraki now, there's only one other yacht in and a super yacht over there which has uh, got the line ashore. So we're just going to find a spot and put the anchor down. This morning we're at the bay at Nisos Spathi, which is uh, on the cape just before you go around to Poros. Uh, we came over here late on last evening from Mandraki, which uh, is across the straits on Hydra. Uh, we got ourselves nicely anchored up there last night and then the wind got up and it was just untenable in there. So. I knew of this place so we came up here over here and anchored up and had quite a pleasant e evening here. We're now going to have breakfast, uh, do some tidying up and then get ourselves around to Poros which is, will take us just over an hour and have an easy day at Poros. We're at Poros now, had a nice drive round, just motored, there was very little wind. There's a little bit in here and a bit of a swell, that's mostly from the ferries that come and go. But nice day now, apparently they had a horrible evening here in a bit of a gale that came from the west that we had to hide from. But all settled down and the forecast for the next few days is pretty good. So. Uh, we're just going to have a relaxing day here in Poros, uh, have some lunch and uh, enjoy the place. The next day we decided to go to Spetses, which meant a 30 miles trip back the way we came past Hydra and Dokos Island. After a few fitful starts, we eventually had some good sailing most of the way to Spetses on the strong wind that was still blowing from the south.
we got ourselves safely tied up on the town quay and then I decided to go and do some exploring. Although cars aren't allowed on Spetses, you really do have to look out for the scooters here. Despite the scooters, Spetses can be quite a nice place with some history and some good architecture. Lovely old building here. I think it's now a hotel. Reminds me uh, a lot of the Bose Museum at uh, Barna Castle. This is a statue of Bubalina, a Greek hero from the Greek Wars of Independence who put a, a fleet together to fight the Turks. Lots of cannon along the inner port here. This is the, uh, the dinghy harbour, uh, but I guess this means you don't upset the natives. We've just had a, a bit of an interesting night. Uh, we were at Spetses on the town quay with the wind behind us, blowing us off the quay, all very nice and safe. A bit bumpy, but nothing to worry about. However, in the night, the, uh, the wind changed around to the opposite direction. It was blowing us onto the quay. I was woken up because it was getting pretty sloppy at the back of the boat. It's a good job I was woken up because uh, we started getting pushed onto the quay. Uh, the bow of the boat was coming round. Uh, we eventually decided to leave the quay at about 5.30. Still dark. We've motored over to Porter Heli. It was quite a rough crossing. There was winds getting up to 25 knots uh, right on the nose. The boat, boat was bouncing all, all over the way there. And we're now at Port of Heli, just in one of the bays to the west of the entrance where we're fairly sheltered and uh, just recovering really, getting things back together again before we go around to Killarde later today. So after a few hours rest it was time to lift the anchor and set off on what would be our last sail in Serenity this year. Our route will take us around the west of the Crenidi Peninsula, a trip of about 11 miles to take us to Kilada. At first we were heading straight into the strong northwesterly wind, so we decided to motor the first section. After passing the island of Corokinesia, our course was further north, enabling us to sail the rest of the way to Kilada. At Kilada, Anne left for the airport and Paul and I set about preparing Serenity for hauling out at the boatyard. The yard called us in early in the morning, so we docked the boat and let the Basimacopolis team get to work. Mm -hmm. 